Hi hey guys, welcome to our daily encounter. You know, whether we're thinking about uh, things happening globally, internationally, or even within our nation, or in our communities, or even in our personal lives, uh, we have to realize and recognize that this world is chaotic. Uh, we never know what's going to show up on the news the next day. We never know what's going to show up in our lives the next day. Uh, when we look in, look at this world and we look at our lives in connection to this world, we don't really see a lot of stability. Uh, we never know when the rug's going to be pulled out from under us and everything's going to fall into chaos. Well, whenever we consider that, it would be also helpful to consider Psalm 93 because Psalm 93 is a beautiful picture of the stability that is connected to God and how when we can fix our gaze on God, it brings stability to our hearts and to our minds. It starts off and says, The Lord reigns. He is clothed with majesty. The Lord has clothed and girded himself with strength. Indeed, the world is firmly established. It will not be moved. Your throne is established from old. You are from everlasting. Uh, just a couple of verses on really how stable God is and how fixed he is in heaven. He's he's reigning. He's in control. Um, he's clothed with majesty, but he's also clothed with strength and girded with strength. Um, he, it says that the world is firmly established. It will not be moved uh, because God is upholding the, the earth with his own power. It talks about his throne being established from of old and you're from everlasting. He's a he's a God who has stood the test of time. Uh, and so when we think about the majesty of God, the power of God, we can think of how stable God is. And that's something that we can hold on to in the chaos. As a matter of fact, the, the psalm actually provides us a picture of chaos as it continues in verses 3 and 4. It says, The, the floods have lifted up, O Lord. The floods have lifted up their voice. The floods lift up their pounding waves more than the sounds of many waters, than the mighty breakers of the sea. A picture of a sea that is stirred up. The waters are are um, pounding. Uh, they're, they're making a loud sound. Uh, they're, they're like the breakers of the sea. Just a picture of great chaos that takes place. And then it goes on back to the stability of God. If you continue on in verse 4, going into verse 5, it says, The Lord on high is mighty. Your testimonies are fully confirmed. Holiness befits your house, O Lord, forevermore. And so this psalm has a wonderful flow to it, starting off with the stability and connection to the majesty and might of God into this chaotic picture of a stirred up sea, and then back into uh, the stability of God. And... This gives us a great picture of how the stability of God is greater than the chaos of the world. And this helps us to have something to fall back on when life does get chaotic. You know, it might very well be the case that our day may start off like the like the start of the psalm. We might start off the day, uh, you know, with our minds focused on God's reign, uh, upon God's majesty, we might be thinking about how he's girded and clothed with strength and we see how the world is firmly fixed because he's upholding it with his power. We could think about how he is from everlasting and he stood the test of time and we can be really fixed on, on God and his greatness and find great stability as we begin our day, uh, reflecting on these various aspects of God. But then perhaps it doesn't take very long before we get into the day and all of a sudden, the waters get stirred up. Chaos ensues. Um, it might be something we, we read about on the news, but it might also be something that's happening in our lives. You know, maybe deadlines start to come. Uh, there are uh, priorities and expectations placed on us, and it causes us perhaps to get stirred up, and our souls get stirred up like this seed that's described here in Psalm 93. And before we know it, we're back in a state of chaos. Well, hopefully we can do what this psalm does and get ourselves back focused on the stability of God, 
to go back and begin to reflect on some things about God that can calm our hearts and slow our breath and get us back into a rhythmic flow of worship and praising God and reflecting on God. Hopefully we can do that. Hopefully we can follow this model of the psalm of readjusting our hearts, recalibrating our minds to once again look above the chaos, to look above the crashing of the waves, to see a God who's reigning above, who is full of might and power, and who is full of stability, and that we can hold on to in those th those times of chaos and find stability and strength. So hopefully Psalm 93 will encourage us to do that today. And with that, guys, I do thank you for watching the video today. Hope you guys have a great day. Love you guys. God bless.